Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because we're diving headfirst into a royal roller coaster that's more dramatic than any Netflix series. We've been following the Meghan and Harry saga for years and the plot just took another astonishing twist. So grab some popcorn and get ready for a story of intrigue, accusations, and a financial nightmare that's shaking the Sussexes world. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press the bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So picture this, a hushed meeting at Sandringham, discussions of a royal exit and Prince Harry's plan to move to Canada with Meghan and Archie. The grand plan, a trial year with Harry continuing his public service from North America and receiving a hefty £700,000 from the royal family, but here's where the plot thickens. In a shocking twist, Harry's funding was dramatically withdrawn during the summer of 2020 leaving us all wondering what really happened behind the palace walls. After a three-year investigation, Byline Times has unearthed the truth, a truth that's more jaw-dropping than any royal scandal we've seen. It all started with an accusation in writing. Harry pointed his finger at Prince William's aide, Chris Jones, claiming he was selling stories to the Sun. The story in question, Harry and Meghan's resignation as senior royals, a headline-grabbing decision if there ever was one. But when Harry refused to retract his accusations, the royal family played their trump card they pulled the funding. You might wonder why such a fuss over a few headlines and stories, but the answer, my friends, is more about control than you could ever imagine. According to a well-informed source, the royal household was eager to avoid a courtroom scandal with Jones and Dan Wooten squarely in the spotlight. The removal of funding wasn't just about headlines, it was about getting Harry and Meghan back in line, back under the royal family's control. You see, the truth is that Harry and Meghan are newspaper gold. Their stories are more captivating than those of the King and Camilla or William and Kate. The fear was that they'd continue to dominate the media narrative, even from abroad, and the royal family couldn't have that. Prince Charles knew that cutting off Harry's lifeline, the transition funding would be an effective way to get the renegade prince back on British soil, but in a plot twist worthy of a Shakespearean drama, it didn't work out. Harry and Meghan stood their ground. To add another layer of drama to the narrative, it's worth mentioning that Dan Wooten, the man in the middle of it all, was recently accused of posing under a pseudonym to solicit explicit content from his co workers for cash. The scandalous details of this development have added another layer to the already tumultuous story. So what do you think about this news guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.